Jewish kid from the Bronx. <laughs> You know, I never thought that I would be sitting here 70 years later talking uh, about Southeast Asian countries. My suggestion would be um, uh, get off the beaten track. Um, yeah, you definitely want to see the main things. Spend two days doing the tourist bit, but then just um, take a take a, a time map and put your finger on a place. Go there and wander around for a day. Wander the side streets. Um, wander Samping in in Chinatown. Um, go to go to Pat Pong at night, which is aside from its reputation, one of the most amazing night markets that we have in the city. Um, go to the flashlight market that we have on Saturday nights. Um, walk the streets, see the people, and look at how we we live today. Um, that's that's the heart of, of Thailand. Um, those are the things that make Thailand what it is today. The food. The food in Bangkok is spectacular. The food in Thailand is spectacular. But stay away from the Thai so restaurants and get you know, buy a good book about Thai food and and walk the streets, uh, get some hoi pot and get some uh, um, and, and get some green curry and, and get some uh, tom yum gung and get some of the things that that that, that we eat every day to, to survive. I mean, um, um, the food here is wonderful. Yeah, the streets aren't that clean, and you know we all have issues, and sometimes places smell. But the truth of the matter is, if the street vendor has been in a place for more than three or four months, the food is good. Because they wouldn't be there if it wasn't. They wouldn't be able to survive. The other thing you want to look for is look for places where Thai is. If you see a whole lot of uh, uh, farang, white faces, go someplace else. Because the food would probably be overpriced and not taste as good as it's supposed to. I don't know what else to say, but I'll tell you one thing. I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed my 12 years here. Um, as much as everybody says move back to America, I, I probably don't have any plans to do that. Do that.